Nashra Balagamwala was only 18 when she first faced pressure to enter into an arranged marriage. Well, now five years later, she's back with something that may help her get out of it, a board game based on that very subject. She is the creator of Arranged. It's a board game that follows three women who are on a mission to avoid the matchmaker. Well, Nasha Balaganwala joins me now from Karachi, Pakistan. And thank you so much for coming on the program to talk about this. Thank you so much for having me, Beverly. So ha facing pressure yourself, tell me how you went from that to creating a board game. Well, I wanted to create something that would highlight all the issues and the struggles that I personally have faced, as well as uh, things that I've watched my friends go through when it comes to an arranged marriage. So I started out by creating a list of all the things I'd done myself to avoid it, such as wearing fake engagement rings or going out and getting a tan or making sure that I was seen out in public with my male friends. And these are all things that would be considered normal in most societies, but that Pakistani culture sees as disgraceful. So um, I created a list and then I thought, you know what, I've been through this struggle my entire life trying to run away from this Rishtha auntie who is essentially the matchmaker. And so I'm going to make a game about what I feel every time I go through it and what I'm sure all my friends also go through. You're combining two interesting worlds. I mean, your history, your story, but also your experience in board games because you work for Hasbro. Yeah, that's true. Um, I've always had a passion for games and um, I did work with them for a while. Um, generally, exact. That's. I mean, I, I am a board game geek in nature, which is why I turned to the medium of board games. But another reason I did it is because it's so much easier to spark up a conversation when it is a board game because people are forced to be in the same sitting together and therefore there's a higher chance that they're going to talk about it. Yeah, it's so interesting. So you've got these um, these positions and they move through the board game and there's cards, I guess, as well. So tell me, for example, what, what one card might say. Okay, so um, there's two different decks. One is the one that the girls draw from, and then one is the one that the auntie draws from. So the auntie would be picking up a card that says something such as, you see a girl who uses fair and lovely, which is a whitening cream that's very commonly used in Pakistan. Move five steps and she'll move five steps closer to that girl. Or you see a girl with childbearing hips and she'll move closer. And then with the girls, it will be um, something that they're coming up with to avoid the auntie. So it's, you know, you talk about pursuing a career or an education out in public. And then that gives them the chance to move four or five steps away from the auntie. And so it's it's this constant battle of avoiding her and while she's coming very close to you. And what about the reaction to this game? And I know you've had great feedback, but you've also had a lot of criticism. Um, yeah, I mean, I've had great feedback because I've had people from India and Pakistan reach out, girls especially, thanking me for finally speaking up about it and saying that I've provided them the courage to do the same, which, which feels amazing. But at the same time, I've had older women in Pakistan look at me like I'm some sort of disgrace. And they've, as I've walked by them, you can see, I can see them rolling their eyes at me and, you know, whispering negative remarks, which is kind of, it's kind of sad because... Well, I mean, I'm going through it, but at the same time, it's I don't care that much anymore because I, their their traditions and their values are so outdated and I'm trying to move away from them. And tell me a little bit more about the feedback. And you mentioned some of the girls who understand that kind of pressure, who really appreciate the game. But what do you hope for people that maybe don't understand or have that same pressure, but they, they want to play a good board game, but at the same time, they're going to learn and not what, like, the takeaway for people that are playing a game, but it's really interesting information for, for a lot of folks that wouldn't otherwise know about it. Yeah, definitely it is, because I've playtested this game multiple times with my friends in the West who have no idea what this culture and this custom is about. And every time they they play, at the beginning, they're all in fits of laughter. They're, like, rolling on the floor at some of these cards. And then a little while later, they're like, wait, this is what you actually go through? This was based off your life? And then they always want to talk about it. And it's very often they'll go do their own research about arranged marriages and learn more about it. So it's, it's been pretty cool because it's kind of an educational experience as well as a fun, lighthearted thing to pay, play at like game night. Yeah, and it wasn't, I mean, it's never easy to come up with a new idea and to market it because it costs a little bit of money as well. Um, it hasn't cost me anything, actually. Luckily, I've had news sources from all over the world reach out to me. 
um, because they were interested in the subject. I, I wasn't expecting it, and, and it's been unbelievable. Um, but yeah, I mean, a lot of effort and time did go into producing it, and I would have hated to see that go to waste. You're a graduate from the Rhode Island School of Design, but you're, you're back in Karachi, Pakistan now. So what, what's your hope for the future? Um, well, for now, I'm producing the game. I've been meeting with vendors and shipping companies and trying to get all the orders out as soon as possible. Um, but in the future, I would like to return back to either the U.S. or England or Canada or somewhere where I can continue my dream of being a designer. There isn't much scope for that here in Pakistan, <laughs> unfortunately. Well, it's such a pleasure to meet you. Nasha Balaganwala, congratulations on the board game and thank you for your time. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me.